roll. Barry, what the hell are you playing at? Go away. Um, no, come on. Let me just help you get you down, yeah? Oh, come on. Don't come any nearer. Just leave me alone, please. Right, fine. Well, I'll ring Andy or Giovanni, no. yeah? No. Not there. No. Right, okay, well, we'll talk to me then, yeah? Whatever it is, we can work it out. What do you know? You're just a bit of a kid. Look, I know I'm just a kid, but I am more than sure that they don't hate you. I don't, I don't hate you. It's just, we have our scraps. That's that. I've made all the wrong choices. Afternoon, Charles. I see you're busy. Yeah, it's just some stuff Lucy has sent me. By the way, you've not been in the bedroom, have you? Some money gone missing. No. Um, say, your hair's getting a bit long. What are you on about, you? Well, your hair. It's grown a bit. In fact, I say you're about ready for a haircut. You having a laugh? There's nothing wrong with your hair. Amelia will think differently. And what's it got to do with her? Well, I know you have feelings for her, for some reason. And if you wish for a reciprocation, I'd recommend a haircut. Right, fine. I'll go to Harriet some other. Great! Anywho, I'll head out. No one needs an extra hand at the cafe. Yeah, whatever. I'll see you later, Gary. See you later, Charles. It's me, Ryan. Mr. Clint will come for his haircut tomorrow. All right. Good luck. I'm so sorry, I can't imagine how hard that must have been. <laughs> no. Jack hates me now. Jack. Jack! Hey John, how are you doing? What's up with that? I don't know, mate. Give up. Trying to figure out women a long time ago. Mm, you're telling me. A weird breed, them women. One minute you can do no wrong, the next they're biting your head off for one wrong word. Tell me about it. About Lauren. She must have got it off her mum. One minute I can do no wrong buying her drinks, next minute slamming the door in my face. It might have something to do with the fact that she wasn't really interested. Well, that's not right. She was my girlfriend. And you were blinkered and wouldn't take no for an answer. Hey John, what's up? You look really down. Well, I'm, I'm not really, I'm... But... How many of them have you had? I'm sorry. Nothing, it's nothing to do with me, is it? Anyway, I'm, I'm done here, I'll just go and grab my jacket. Well, why don't you have a drink with me then, as soon as you're clocking off? I don't know. Go on. Keep me company. Conversation gets a bit boring with this one after a while. Thanks, pal. Well, I'll just have to go and get Come me. Come on, you know you want to. What are you drinking? I suppose. A drink for my lady companion and that. Uh, top me up as well, please. I'll tell you what, John, you want to watch this one? Get drunk, you'll be snug in your face, huh? <laughs> Excuse me, don't want to scare her off before she's even had a drink. Oh, I'm not scared. Oh, you're very brave, John, I'll give you that. <laughs> Stop trying to make me out to be a sexual predator. I was drunk, I've told you. Oh, why don't you drink that up and I'll get you another drink? <laughs> why don't you just bog off and go and 
tell them all in town and we won't even have to see me again. But I, I am more than sure, Beryl, that Jack is just overwhelmed and he needs time to figure things out, yeah? But giving him up doesn't make you a bad person. Doesn't make you a bad mother. I mean, God, there are plenty of kids out there that'd be better off put into care or put up for adoption, trust me. <laughs> what do you really know about me? I've done nothing about you, but I used to wish every day that Frank could have put me up for adoption. But he just kept me around for the widow's allowance so he could shoot up, smoke pot and drink all the time. There were hundreds of times when I wished I was dead so I could see my mum again. So you can't do this. You've only just got Jack back. He can't lose his mum again. Beryl, please. Oh, Maisie, I trust you're well rested. What do you want, Lucius? Oh, a little civility for a start. And some customer service. Go on. It was armed robbery, wasn't it? Armed robbery of a very exclusive jewellery store. What of it? I'm curious. Why that one? Why that jewellers in particular? You already know that. <laughs> Actually, I've surmised. I was just looking for confirmation. Do you know what? You're wasting my time. You are the brains. You are the expert. A highly skilled, one could even say gifted gemologist, with one stone in particular. Diamonds. Among others, what's your point? Well, you should have no difficulty in recognising these. Take a look. Take a look at what a royal fortune looks like. One that is ours for the taking. Okay. <laughs> Never do that again, okay? Okay, come on, let's go and sit down. Yeah. Oh, let's get this off. Okay. Oh, help you. Get this one off. Okay. Are you, are you sleeping here? Yeah, okay, okay get comfy. Thank you. Sleep, Harold. I'll be here. Thank you. 